some extreme weather news, right? Like you could be outside for just a couple minutes and <laughs> feel the heat. You're going to be melting this oh, afternoon. Goodness. So, and if you're thinking about like a popsicle or ice cream bar, this <laughs> eat afternoon, it fast. Yeah, you have to eat it fast because otherwise it's going to be dripping all over oh, you. Oh goodness! So we got to be prepared for this. <laughs> we certainly do. So let's go ahead and take a look here outside right now, and on our Bryant heating and cooling tower camera, you can see we are waking up to clear skies, and we're looking at I-75. There's no problems there with traffic this morning, but we are expecting a very warm day. And if you think it's warm outside this morning, wait until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is really going to be warm to start out the day. Currently 62 degrees in Troy, 64 in Springfield, and 66 in Wilmington at this time, and a little bit cooler up in Wapakoneta at 63 degrees. In Dayton right now, 69. The wind is calm, and if you're thinking about a run this morning or going outside for a walk, now's the time to do it because it's the coolest time of the entire day. So far for the month of July, we've had 11 days of 90 degree weather, and for the month of June, we racked up five days, so we are currently at 16 total, and the average is 14, and we are not done yet, especially for this month. We have several days of 90-degree weather that is going to be affecting us for the next several days. And in addition to it just being hot outside, we also have the dew point to consider, and it's going to run into that uncomfortable level today, almost into the miserable level. That'll be where we will be tomorrow for sure. The dew points are going to be 65 plus today, so it's going to be extremely uncomfortable and giving us heat indices later on this afternoon close to the triple digit number. So definitely be prepared for extreme heat this afternoon. And of course, you know all the positive, all the things that you should be doing, drinking plenty of water or staying inside in some air conditioning if at all possible. Satellite and radar together showing that we have pretty much nothing going on this morning. We have high pressure in control that's going to be sliding its way off towards the south and east. As it does so, we will see maybe an isolated storm, mainly to the south. Uh, later on this afternoon. But for that morning jog or the morning uh, run this morning, 77 degrees at 9 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, we'll be near 85 degrees. And this may not be the most comfortable day to eat outside, but at noon, 86. And by 5 o'clock for your evening dinner plans, about 93 degrees. And it'll feel even warmer than that. Future tracks showing that we may see a pop up shower storm, but most areas will just see dry weather today as well as tomorrow. Almost everybody's just basically going to be dealing with the heat and the humidity for this entire weekend. So if your lawn is already starting to look brown, you may need to water today, tomorrow, and possibly into Monday. Today, though, we're looking at a high of 93 degrees. Most areas will see dry weather today. Tonight, down to only 75, extremely uncomfortable tonight. And then tomorrow, high of 95 degrees. In your extended Storm Team 2 forecast here, rain chances do increase as we go to the middle of the week and temperatures will drop off into the upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday. And of course, you can always